Hey, this is Joel from PSI Screen Printing. Today we're going to do a little video for you just outlining the differences between vector and bitmap based artwork. First of all, we're going to start by looking at the different programs that um, we use for both vector and bitmap artwork. The industry standard for vector based artwork is Adobe Illustrator. You can see I'm in Adobe Illustrator here now. Uh, that deals with all sort of vector artwork. You can also work with bitmap based artwork inside of Adobe Photoshop but you can't you don't have the freedom and the ability to edit it as much as Adobe Photoshop which is the program that it mainly deals with uh, bitmap based artwork like photographs you'll know them as JPEGs and um, images PSDs and images with those sort of names now like Illustrator in Photoshop you can deal with vector based artwork to a certain extent um, and it can even remain vector but to edit any vector based artwork you really have to go back into Illustrator and then it links between the two but um, for using vector based artwork you really want to do your work inside of Illustrator and for um, bitmap based artwork or photographs or JPEGs and things like that you really want to do that inside of Photoshop. Alright, so now we've discussed the different programs we use, I just want to show you the benefits of using vector-based artwork in your screen printing applications. Um, so let's start off by looking at what happens um, to the artwork when it's increased in size or decreased in size and zoomed in and that sort of thing. So here I've just got our logo and website address and phone number and everything that we're just going to use as an example. And basically I just want to show you. So let's zoom into this piece of artwork as far as we can zoom in. You have now see that even though we go in that far, we've still left with crisp, clean, straight lines. And that's really what you want to be dealing with when you come to printing artwork and everything. Because... As you'll see, let's just skip over to Photoshop. If we're using Photoshop here, let's zoom in a similar sort of amount. You can see you're left with these pixelated edges here. So we've got black pixels that to to form a straight edge or in this case a um, angled edge, you can't just end a square pixel like that. It has to fade out into white, so to speak. So you have these gradations of um, black to gray to gray to gray to gray to white sort of thing, um, which gives you softer edges on your artwork. You can see as we zoom out here, you're getting softer and softer edges. You don't remain that crisp, clean lines to to really get your artwork really nice on your t-shirt. So let's just have a look what happens when you resize in Illustrator. Uh, so let's start with, let's just pull this let's group. Let's move out here. Now you can see here we've started with let's zoom out just so you can see the full effect of it. We've got a little um, letter here now. It, if we increase this size here, let's just increase it. You can see that we're increasing size, but we've got no loss of quality there. This, the lines are staying perfectly clean and sharp. Um, and again, that's another vector, um, benefit of vector-based artwork that you can resize that wheel. I can literally size that as big as a building and it will always stay perfectly crisp and clean but let's see what happens with a photo piece of Photoshop artwork there I'm going to select let me just check this I'll do I'll do the same letter so we can see let's make let's put zeros on that now oh, what I'm going to do is resize this now hopefully it's going to work for me now you can see already that by resizing that we've got this really soft image here because what's happened is the programs had to guess where these pixels go and replace those pixels now um, by guessing okay what color pixel should I put there and you're left with this image that's really soft and something that would definitely not look good on a t-shirt at all and as I've zoomed in there you can see that there's no crisp clean lines or anymore it's gradiating from green right through lighter greens out to white there so you've really lost your sharpness of image there uh, which is no good if you want to resize artwork um, especially for t-shirt printing and everything uh, so let's just go back here and show you something else
So what I want to do now is just show you the separations and how Vector is far better for separations than pixel based or bitmap based artwork. So when we come to printing your t-shirt we want to in this case for a two color print we've got black and green that's going on a white shirt. Um, we can we need to just pull out the black and pull out the green and put them on two separate screens to be able to print those two colors. So to do that in our program like Illustrator it's it's extremely simple. Let's just do that. Do that. Pull that across there and pull that out here and presto we've got our color separations. Um, very easy, took me two seconds. Now the other great thing about Vector Bases artwork is when we go to print that to film to shoot our screens we need that black. So rather than messing around with colors or anything I just select it, click the eyedropper in black and it's black. So very simple to do color separations with Vector Based artwork. Now that's an extremely simple example but let's see it compared in Photoshop. So what we've got here is the same piece of artwork. Now for me to separate the green there, I'm going to have to use a magic wand selection. Um, uncheck contiguous up here, so it selects all the green in the whole document. Then I'm going to have to cut that out, or copy it out. In this case I'll cut it, so we're left with the black. Um, we'll go to new. Okay, so that's our separations, but we've got them on two separate documents. We can't look at them side by side or compare them to the original artwork. And then what we have to do is convert them to black. So I need to fill them with the paint bucket to make that black. Now there's other ways to do it, but that was just quick and easy and nasty. And you can see that once we've filled that, we get these really jagged edges. So I'll undo, and you can see that they look all right from a distance they look alright at the moment but you zoom into them and they're soft edges now what filling them with the paint buckets going to do is fill them all with black and that's the white the as the color fades out on these pixels here that's going to fill it all with black which isn't going to leave us with a terribly fine smooth line so you're left with sharp jagged edges which is not something you really want so in that case you can see why vector based artwork is so much better for doing those separations the artwork which is what we need to do to be able to print your shirts so now in saying that um, this is vector based artwork is best for our application of um, printing t-shirts and, and any sort of screen printing really but Photoshop is needed for bitmap or photo based artwork and even with screen printing sometimes we need to use Photoshop. For example if we're um, doing a grayscale image onto a t-shirt we can only really edit that the way we want to in Photoshop to prepare that for the t-shirt. So Photoshop and bitmap based artwork do have their place but the oh, large majority of the time we really want to be using vector based artwork. So let's just look over everything we've done here on this video. So basically, we've got vector artwork, bitmap based artwork. It's the they're the two major types of artwork in screen printing. Uh, you use different programs to edit each. Illustrator for vector based artwork. Photoshop for bitmap based artwork. Now, in saying that, there are free versions available because to go out and buy Adobe Creative Suite is going to cost you thousand odd dollars. Uh, for vector based artwork um, do a Google search for Inkscape which is a free vector program and for a program like Photoshop do a Google search for GIMP and that's a free both of those are free programs that deal with um, different sorts of artwork so again Inkscape for vector based artwork and GIMP for uh, photo based artwork so they're the two different programs. The other thing is we prefer vector art because of its smooth, clean lines, the ability to upscale it and downscale it and change the size and color really easily. When you upscale it, you don't lose quality. You can make it as big or as small as you want and it'll remain exactly the same. Whereas with bitmap artwork, it will blow out the edges. You'll get really bad pixelation. It'll soften the image as we saw earlier. Vector artwork also makes it easier for doing color separations. As we saw, it's easy to select pull out a color, change the color of it and everything like that which is what we need to do for t-shirts. Whereas in Photoshop when you fill it with the paint bucket or 
or pull it out of the image. You can not select the full amount of color. It might, uh, Photoshop's only guessing where the color starts and ends, so you don't get as good of a color separations out of Photoshop with that formula. There are other ways to separate in Photoshop that makes it um, usable, but they're more for, you know, photographic sort of images. So that's everything. Uh, I hope you've got a better understanding of vector based artwork and bitmap based artwork and you can go and prepare your artwork for your t-shirts in the format that we're going to need to be able to do your designs and we can go from there and print plenty of t-shirts for you. If you've got any questions at all don't hesitate to either use the comments section below or send us a quick email and we can answer those questions for you straight up. Thanks a lot. I'll be in touch soon.